Example 11, chapter 7, or section 722. Uh, find the self-inductance of a toro torula, toroidal coil with rectangular cross sections, inner radius A, outer radius B, height H, which carries a total of N turns. So we know the magnetic field inside of this guy. Uh, that's going to be mu naught. The, uh, oh, sorry, total N turns, small n. Let's do this again. Small n times the current all over 2 pi the uh, inner uh, the, the distance r. Um, um, from this, the axis there. So let me let me kind of draw a picture here. So we have the axis. We have kind of a donut shape, and r is that distance there inside there. So um, the flux through a single turn. So find the self-inductance. So through a single turn, we're going to have uh, B dot DA. Okay. Um, well, that's just U naught N. All these terms are constant over 2 pi. Okay. And then since the cross section is rectangular, okay, so we have our R like this. We have a height h, so height h, that's part of the area there. And the other part of the area that we can't calculate quite easy is the distance from a to b of uh, 1 over r dr. Okay. Um, solving for that is rather easy. So the flux is mu naught n i over 2 pi h log of b minus a log of b minus log of a. All right, the total flux is n times this. So we get an n squared. So the total flux, this is flux for one of one turn. So total flux is n times that. So it's n, the total flux, equals mu naught n squared, because there's n turns over i, 2 pi. My camera stand is getting in the way. b over a. OK, and that's. So the, the self-inductance, L, where'd my H go? Self-inductance is whatever times I you get left over. So it's going to equal LI. So L is equal to mu naught N squared H log of B over A all over 2 pi. OK. So that was a rather easy example. Um, not terribly difficult to solve. You just calculate the magnetic field that's generated and Calculate the flux of the magnetic field through itself, so rather easy. Um, what's interesting is that the L's, just like the, the inductance, just like capacitance and just like resistance, is always positive. You can't have a negative inductance. Uh, you can't have a negative capacitance. Um, the reason why this is, is that whenever you have um, a changing magnetic field, Lenz's law states that the current is going to try to try to form a magnetic field that opposes that change, tries to maintain the magnetic field the way it was. Um, and so what you get is, um, let's say you have this little toroidal thing um, set up with all, with all the wires. When you try to stick a current in there and generate that magnetic field on the inside, there's going to be an EMF pushing against you to try to oppose that magnetic field. Um, and you can calculate right here what it's going to be. Okay, um, So the EMF is d v by dt, negative d phi by dt. And so that's going to be equal to negative L di by dt. Okay, self-inductance there. We call this a back EMF. And the, uh, am I supposed to say this for the next example? Or, yeah, let's save it for example 12. So on to example 12. We'll do that next. Thanks for your time. Bye.